Good morning, attorney. Good morning, classmates. My name is Jeremiah Alaban, and so for today, I will be discussing to you a case which is related to our subject problems in legal ethics with AC number 7136. The parties are Jose Liano Guevara versus Attorney Jose Emmanuel Iyala, which was promulgated on August 1, 2007. So here are the facts of the case. Jose Liano Guevara met Attorney Jose Emmanuel Iyala months prior to Guevara's marriage with Miss Irene Mohe, who introduced Iyala to him as a close friend. Iyala was already married at the time with three children and of course with his wife, original wife. After Guevara's marriage to Irene, he then noticed that his wife Irene had been receiving sweet text messages and calls from attorney Iyala. So there were even occasions that um, Guevara would see his wife together with attorney Iyala in public places. So later on, um, there were also instances where um, Guevara's friends would tell him that they also see attorney Iyala and Irene together. So later on, his wife then left their conjugal home and stayed at a residence where he often see um, attorney Iyala's car parked outside. So Guevara later on found out um, that attorney Iyala actually sent uh, a, a letter to Guevara's wife on the day of their wedding. So two years later, he also learned that his wife was pregnant with um, attorney Iyala. So Guevara filed a disbarment complaint before the IBP Committee on Bar Discipline for gross immoral conduct and violation of the lawyer's oath. So the issue for this case is that whether or not Attorney Iyala is guilty of concubinage, which shall be a reason for disbarment. So the Supreme Court held that lawyer's oath stated that a lawyer should support the Constitution and obey the laws. Which means that he shall not make use of deceit, malpractice, or other gross misconduct, grossly immoral conduct, or be convicted in any crime involving moral turpitude, which is actually been committed by attorney Iyala. So in the case at bar, in this case, Guevara versus Iyala, attorney Iyala was accused of concubinage which is under Article 334 of the Revised Penal Code, which states that any husband who shall keep a mistress in a conjugal dwelling or shall have sexual intercourse um, under scandalous cir circumstances with a woman who is not his wife or shall cohabit with her in any other place shall be punished by prison correctional in, the, in its min min minimum and medium period. So, respondents' grossly immoral conduct um, grants a foul of the constitution and the laws that he, as a lawyer, has sworn to uphold. Hence, the court declared attorney Jose Emmanuel M. Iyala disbarred for grossly immoral conduct in violation of his oath of office and violation of Canon 1 and Canon 7 of the Code of Professional Responsibility. So, that is the end of my case um, about uh, Guevara versus Iyala, Attorney Iyala. So thank you everyone for listening and have a great day ahead. Thank you, Attorney.